Hey everyone, so in this video I would like to tell you about how you can do literature review. So if you're struggling doing literature review and if you cannot find your way to write down some of the summaries of the research papers that you are reading, we'll uh, see some of the steps and how you can do literature review. And I will also give you an example and we'll see together how we can do literature review on a research paper together. So stay tuned and let's get into the video. So the first step of doing a literature review is searching for the relevant literature. So to do that, you have to define your topic and your research area. If it is not well defined, you will not find a way to search for the relevant literature. This is the most crucial step. So it is your starting point of the research. So you have to very well define your, so you have to well define your problem and your research questions. And after that, you will also have to define your keywords to find this relevant literature. This step might not be a very difficult, but it is very important to well define it because the next steps will depend on this and it is crucial to understand well the topic and approach to the problem in this way. The second step is evaluate and search resources. So for selecting the resources you will find a lot of articles on the internet or where you are searching for the articles and all these articles are not always the best choices for your paper or for your research so you have to really filter some of these articles and select them. There are different methods of selecting research papers. The easiest and quickest way I would say is to ask some of the questions in your case. The first question might be if the article is credible or it's coming from a trustable resource. The second would be to understand the relevance, the ideas in the resource, the ideas in the article, are they corresponding to the ideas that I would like to address in my research? Another thing might be, what are the key ideas in this research paper? Are they well aligned with what I want to do in my research? The third step is identifying the gaps and also the third step is identifying theme. The third step is identifying themes, debates, and gaps for the research papers that you are searching for. Because by identifying the themes, you are connecting the research papers that you are reading and it will help you to connect your ideas for your research. For this, you can use different methods. One example is using a table to keep track of all your research papers, classify them for each topic that you are reading. And also you can create some subtopics and see which articles are corresponding to which topics. So this way you will make the connections in an easier way. The fourth step is outlining the literature review structure. So in this step, you will have to define how you will organize your literature review and how you will approach the uh, articles that you are reading. So after finding the relevant research papers, after reading them, you will have to organize them in a structure to better convey your idea. So our first approach in this step might be organizing your ideas and organizing the papers in a chronological way. So in this way, you will need to chronologically summarize the papers that you are reading, but it is not just like ordering them in a chronological way, by ordering them chronologically, you will have to also give the connections of each paper and how they are relevant to your research. And in this way, you will not only chronologically order your uh, research papers, but you will also have to make the connections between them. The second approach is the thematic approach. The thematic approach is where you structure your research papers by sectioning them into themes. And by this way, the research papers in the same theme will be in a, for example, one different paragraph and for another theme it will be in another paragraph. The third approach is methodological. So in this approach, you will structure the research papers by gathering together the research papers that has similar methods and similar uh, way of dealing with some problems. The fourth approach is a theoretical approach. In this approach, you will divide your research papers into sections where they have similar theories or models. So for each research paper that has the similar theory, similar models, you will have to make the connections and uh, organize them in one paragraph or one section and for the others in a different section. But you have to keep in mind that for each section that you would define, it does not have to be always that you have to follow one of these approaches because you can use all of these approaches in one literature review by organizing your literature review in sections and subsections. So for example, in the main sections, you will 
divide them by chronological order and in each section you will divide the research papers by thematic approach. The fifth step is writing your literature review. Yeah, after following four steps and organizing your ideas and your structure, now you will have to write your literature review. But if you well follow the first four steps, the writing part will be much easier for you. While writing your literature review, you can divide it into three main sections as introduction, body, and the conclusion. In the introduction, you will have to define why you are doing your literature review. So you will give your objective clearly. And in the body, you will in detail uh, give the sections of your literature review and how you are making the connections and how you are uh, conveying your idea. In the body section, you will have to give the sections of the literature review and how you are connecting the ideas in different research papers and how are they really relevant to your research. And in the conclusion part, you will have to do a general summary and you will have to give the outcome of the literature review and also and especially your key findings from the literature review. Before getting to the steps, I would like to share you my ideas about why literature review is really important and a crucial step in your research. So literature review, I think, is uh, quite important because if you do not write a well-structured literature review, you will not find your way to do research in your paper because literature review defines you how is research done before in the topic that you want to do research on and it will give you the idea about what what are the findings and what might be the research gaps that you can find in your research this is because the teacher review gives you the general outline of the research and it informs you about what has been done before in the literature and this uh, constructs the road that you will follow while doing your research I will also give you a quick example of how we can read an article and how we can approach it so in this quick example, I will show you how you can find ideas uh, in the research paper and how you can approach it. So uh, let's say uh, in our example, we have the e-commerce uh, platforms and also the recommendation systems. In this uh, research paper, it is uh, on recommendation systems. So I selected a survey paper because I would like to show you how a survey paper is uh, designed and uh, why it is good to start with survey papers uh, on a specific subject because it gives you uh, the general idea if you are not aware of the uh, literature before and this is a good way to start uh, finding new ideas in the field so when you are selecting research paper you first see the title if it is relevant and also the keywords are relevant you can choose the research paper to uh, read the abstract so in the abstract you will see a uh, generally what is the research paper about and why is it written and the objective this will show you uh, if it's worth to read the research paper and if you decide to read it first start with the uh, quickly with the introduction and the conclusion but you do not have to read all the introduction and all the conclusion in detail for the first time you will just need to see how it is structured the research paper you will just need to see it quickly and when you have the idea and uh, about the introduction go to the conclusion and see uh, what are the findings for this paper here is the conclusion uh, after uh, seeing the introduction so here in this conclusion you will see the paragraphs and the structures so generally uh, if you want to quickly see the conclusion you can just try to read the first and last sentences of each paragraph and uh, then after all doing all this if you still decide to uh, read this paper then get to the introduction and try reading it so as you can realize before even starting to read the introduction we give the paper only about three to four minutes uh, of time to decide if it is if it is still uh, relevant after selecting it so it will not take a lot of time you will do it just quickly skim through the uh, paragraphs but it is important to do it uh, before uh, reading it as a whole. While doing your uh, literature review, you will have to uh, approach all the papers like this. So, and then uh, after all doing this, you will uh, read the article in detail. And after doing this for the research papers that you have selected, you can then compare your notes uh, from each research paper and uh, connect all the ideas in different research papers and create your literature review. And this will give you a detailed idea about the topic. So for the literature review, uh, let's say we define a research question like what are the recommendation systems impact on people's buying behaviors? Let's say our research question is what are the impact of uh, recommendation systems on e-commerce platforms? So to understand this, we have to first do a research about recommendation systems 
and e-commerce platforms and also to combine them we will also have to see the papers which are more relevant and more specific to our research questions which are e-commerce platforms and recommendation systems and how recommendation systems are used in these e-commerce platforms and we can also search for sales and the relation of sales with recommendation systems so these are all the brainstorming ideas that i can create right now so you will have to define your topic like this and you will uh, brainstorm your ideas and you will define the keywords and with the problem and the keywords in your mind you will have to then search for the research papers and then select them filter them according to the uh, standards that you will define like uh, for example you can define uh, some of the filters like the papers has to be cited at least 10 times or uh, you can define filter like uh, the research paper has to be published after 2010 so these are uh, different filters that you can apply to your research papers for the third step you will then uh, have your own all the research papers then you will then identify the themes debates and gaps of the research papers that you find you will classify them and understand that which research papers are about what and what are the topics they are covering then you will move on to the fourth step which was outlining the structure of your literature review because you have already your research papers and you've read them you have the idea of each paper the classified papers you will uh, then uh, have to decide how you will structure them then uh, let's say you have the recommendation systems uh, on e-commerce platforms so uh, what you want to do is uh, do a thematic uh, approach uh, to your literature review uh, structure so you will then need to first let's say classify the recommendation systems and then e-commerce platforms then you can uh, do another section of your literature review with recommendation systems and e-commerce platforms so these might be the uh, three sections of your literature review structure after that uh, the fifth step was writing it down so if you identify well all the topics and if you structure them well all the research papers and all the ideas the writing will be the easiest part uh, with introduction body and of course the conclusion so i wanted to show you how you can quickly create a literature review and gather uh, different research papers these are the most basic ways to do a literature review so i wanted to uh, share you this example to show you uh, how you can approach this so i wanted to show you how you can do it uh, this way and uh, thank you for uh, watching this video if you have any questions and doubts uh, you can comment your uh, you can drop your comments down below and also you can reach me through my social media accounts also do not forget to like the video and subscribe to the channel and see you in the next one bye